Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be continuing our calculator. Now, if you, have, if you don't know what you're looking at right now, then you probably need to move back a couple tutorials to see what's going on. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, like I was saying in the last tutorial, what if the person adds two numbers and they get their answer and they just want to keep adding numbers to it? Well, the way we can do this is by creating a global boolean so we'll just go ahead and type private is adding as boolean and we'll go ahead and set it equal to false so what this is going to do is going to check and see if um, they're continuing adding to their answer so what we're going to do is we're going to add another and right here so and is adding equals false then go ahead and do this stuff so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an else if Let's go ahead and take this then out okay so we're going to we're going to add an else if to see if they are continually adding. So else if is adding then now by using just is adding so it's basically saying else if true then. So if is adding is true then do this. You don't have to add an op, uh something to check the value. You don't have to say else if is adding equals true. You can just do else if is adding. So now what we're going to do is we're going to call add again so we'll just type or we'll declare another variable so dim ants as double and we'll set it equal to add and then we will see type text sum one dot text to a double and then we'll just go ahead and get the text from the answer field so text answer dot text and we want to convert that to a double now what we're going to do is text answer dot text is going to be equal to answer dot to string and we'll go ahead and set this one to dot to string too okay so now if we go ahead and run this you're going to see that it has first number and second number and answer so if we type in a first number, 23 plus 10, and click add, we've got 33. Now we can add 3 to this. And you can see that we get the value 13. Now, the way that we can fix this is by setting is adding equal to false, I mean equal to true whenever they do their first addition. So now if we run this again, you can see that we've got first number, 23, second number, 10. We can add, we get 33, and if we add three to that, we get 36, and we can just keep on adding stuff to our final answer, and we can clear that out when we want to. Okay, so this is fairly simple code. It may not be the most efficient, or the best way to do it but for beginners this is very easy to understand and you can get good results from it so um, now what we're gonna do is do the same thing for um, subtraction so we can just come down here and I'll start it off for you and what I want you guys to do is go ahead and do it for yourself um, without having to watch the tutorial so we'll go ahead and start off with if text num1 dot text dot length is not equal zero and text num two dot text dot length does not equal zero and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we'll create another boolean variable so private is subtracting as boolean and we'll go ahead and set that equal to false and then and is subtracting 
is equal to false, then go ahead and do something. So that should give you guys a good start. And now, one thing that I want to tell you is that it will always, it, it won't revert back to the way it's supposed to be if we click clear in this. And now what we need to do is go ahead and find our button clear, which should be right down here. So whenever they clear, we're just going to go ahead and call the um, call the sub uh, revert boolean. So we'll just type revert bool, and I can see that we're going to get an error because we didn't create this. So we'll just go ahead and create the revert bool uh, sub. So private sub revert bool. We don't need any arguments, and so we'll set is adding equal to false is subtracting equals false. So what this is going to do is if any of these are equal to true then it's going to go ahead and set them equal to false so that they can use this part right here. Now if we don't reset those back to false once we do it this part of the um, if statement will not run because is adding will be true for the rest of the time that we run the program. So if we go ahead and run this type in our first number second number we can add and we can keep adding and then when we click clear it will let us use both of these again so um, go ahead and do the button subtract click you can even move on to the other buttons um, I'll be going through the subtract real quick at, in the next tutorial just in case you couldn't figure it out and uh, then I'll do the rest of the buttons and thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial